Hi guys, this is Dr. Neil Malden from the Western Veterinary Cancer Center, part of the Western Veterinary Specialist and Emergency Center located in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Um, I put up a video uh, dealing with some very basic cancer terms that you may deal with. Uh, and I've had a couple of requests to perhaps break that down into more manageable chunks. So what I've done is pull out each set of definitions that I talked about in the longer introduction to cancer terminology video and put them in little bite-sized pieces. So watch them each individually, watch the entire thing, and be sure and give us feedback if you found them useful. Another question we get asked quite frequently is how common is cancer in pet animals? And the answer to that question is actually fairly common. Uh, it's one of the most common causes of death and debilitating illness for both dogs and cats. Uh, if we try to look at the relative risk compared to humans, we think that dogs get cancer at approximately the same rate that humans do, uh, while the incidence of, of cancer in cats is actually a little bit lower. Um, if we try to look at actual rates for each species, uh, cancer is estimated to be the cause of death in 50% of dogs over the age of 10. Uh, so if you are a dog that makes it to double-digit years, um, you've got about a 50% shot of cancer being the, the eventual cause of your death. And then cancer is the cause of death in approximately one-third of cats, regardless of age. Uh, this age discrepancy uh, in cats is probably due to the fact that there are a couple of native retrovirus uh, feline leukemia virus and feline immunodeficiency virus that can obviously be uh, contacted at an early age uh, and that um, uh, can both also relate to tumor development. And then other species do get cancer. Um, we've treated pelicans with radiation therapy and uh, corn snakes with chemotherapy, but we really don't have any reliable statistics uh, for them. Uh, we certainly know that some species uh, do get certain tumors, so hedgehogs uh, do get mammary cancer uh, and uh, ferrets do get a tumor called lymphoma of the spleen, but as far as actual incidence and other types of tumors and other species, we just really don't have a very clear picture uh, on those numbers yet.